Hi there, so this is a review for the Slatskin & Co. Bath & Body Works Cranberry Pear Bellini Winter 2002 Candle. So as you can see, this one is unburned. I have already gone through one of these candles, it, so I can definitely give you a much better review since I already burned it. Um, I don't have the burned one with me, it is in the other room, um, but I will fill you in on the details. So the wick's super, super sturdy on these. These are like rock hard, so got to trim these. They're super long, but the cold throw is great. This smell, if you were to compare it to something like Peach Bellini, it is similar in that it's kind of a light, bubbly, fruity fragrance, but it's completely different. The throw on this one is a lot more mellow if you were to compare the two. This one is a fabulous candle, and I went through it super fast. I know a lot of people really love this candle, and I think that's mainly just because it has a great fragrance and a great throw, but the throw is definitely not too overwhelming, but it just leaves a light, kind of mellow, nice, fresh scent. So, the description is... Bubbly and delicious, a bright blend of sparkling cranberry, sweet pear nectar, and luscious black currant. Cheers. So the keynotes are cranberry, pear, nectar, and black currant. And I definitely, definitely smell all those in there. I can definitely smell the black currant. The cranberry makes a little bit more tart. And then the pear nectar adds a kind of a freshness to it. So. It's really nice. It's a tart scent, but like I said, the pear adds more fruity freshness to it, so it's a great combination. And this I could burn any time of the year, but I believe it is only a winter candle because the three wicks are sold out online, but they do still have the um, other ones on the other size, this size, the next size below. And let's see what size that is. Um, four ounce. So they do have four ounces of those, but those run about ten dollars. So I already ran through this. It burned flawlessly. I had no problems with it. Since the wax is a really light color, I think it did turn a little off. But I don't really mind as long as the candle still works good. And the throw, you know, sometimes it is kind of non-existent to me personally. And it's just a really mild, delicate scent. Not crazy throw. Some people said it was, but personally for me, it's one of the ones that um, sometimes I won't even notice it. But it is just a nice kind of a fragrance to have because um, my boyfriend doesn't really like some of the super smelly ones so I can light one like this and have no problems because it's just a very happy kind of bubbly fruity scent that's very mellow um, so I guess the throw on this wouldn't be the greatest in my opinion I did burn through one and I was not constantly smelling the candle sometimes I would have to like lean over and be like do I smell you? So, I will go through this one, and then I guess that's it, because I don't see any more on the site. But, um, if you guys have any questions about this one, or would like to know, you know, if the throw got any better when I burned it, let me know. But, other than that, I really do like this candle. It's kind of weird that I like this candle a lot when I personally think the throw is almost non-existent. It can be so mild at times, and it is non-existent sometimes, but, you know, you don't always need the strongest, most intense candles, in my opinion. Sometimes you just want a candle for atmosphere, and you don't even really necessarily want the smell, so something like that would be great for this, or somebody who has, like, allergies, or something like that. This candle would be great. I know, um, some people just don't like scents or their allergies really bother them so 
something like this, a little bit more fresh and clean smelling and very mellow would probably be better for somebody like that. So thanks for watching. And again, I always appreciate like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. Bye.